So an event like this, it has to be fun to get, you know, all different Buckeyes together mm -hmm. from different time periods. What were you most looking forward to? Well, you know, anything the Buckeye Crews does um, is top notch. So I, I just knew it was going to be a great day. They say around 1,200 people bought tickets. Um, you know, it's kind of like the cruise in July. So we get to see all the guys again, you know, every six months instead of every year. So it's a lot of fun and, uh, you know, playing a sport that none of us grew up playing is going to make it that much better because we're going to see, uh, we're going to see how some people maybe aren't that good at baseball today, I think. Who's really a pure athlete? Uh, who, who do you have your money on? Well, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, I, my, myself comes up right away. Um, Let's see, uh, Car Cardale, JT, they got, they're, they're the guys today. They're the, they're the big names here, and so I'm excited to see what they have to do. And how did you get to be on Team JT? Uh, I, I told Cardale that I wanted uh, my number 12, okay. and, I, and I realized that that was probably going to be a conflict of interest for him, so I think they kind of just put me on the other team. So. <laughs> now, I told him I'd take any number, but if 12 was available, he said, I, th I think we can work that out. Okay. Well, what do you think about the Buckeyes this season? What can we expect from them? Well, it's... it's uh, it's a tough question. Uh, you know, new coach, some new quarterbacks, some new guys in big positions. Uh, you know, I, I know they've recruited like crazy here at the university, and they got you know tons of players. So I expect them not to have a big drop off. I expect them to go out and you know control the Big Ten like they have. Uh, I mean, gosh, back to 02. I feel like we've been controlling the Big Ten since then. So I just feel like they'll uh, continue that. And speaking of that new quarterback, what do you think that Buckeye fans can expect from him? Uh, a lot of promise, but yeah. we haven't all seen it on the field yet. yeah well i mean uh that's the, with with recruiting i mean that, that happens a ton and uh, you know you just gotta give the chance give, give the kid a chance to come in and get his feet wet and you know get comfortable i know uh, he's probably gonna be pressing to try and make every throw to make every play and make it his best every time you, you just can't do that you got to come in and just relax and you know really get in the groove and uh, you know i hope the fans and i hope you know the quarterback competition you know whoever that's going to be with uh, you know i hope any of those guys are able to do that if you had heard good things about Coach Day to kind of put him in that position where he is comfortable and not pressing too much. Yeah, yeah I, I've heard great things about Coach Day. I've met him a couple times. He seems like a great guy. Um, and, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, the offenses, when he was calling it last year, it looked promising. It looked awesome. Uh, we were scoring a lot of points, throwing the ball around. So as an old quarterback, I enjoy that, and I, I hope that continues and we see that kind of offense where we let those quarterbacks and, and those playmakers make the big plays and, you know, get it out of the quarterback hands, let him be a little point guard and just uh, use the athletes he has on the field. I don't think anybody will argue with you on that one. A lot of points will make a lot of Buckeye fans happy. Well, thank you so much right. and have fun today. All right, no problem. Thank you.